So this is the main user interface of the system done with Open Remote with two basic activities, listening to music or watching some video content and the main power down button. Let's start by listening to some music and the system powers on and switches automatically to the CD. I can now start up the CD I have some basic control like skipping track, selecting a specific one, pause, resume. I can um, also control the volume like mute or increase the volume. Now from this screen I can navigate to control the lighting where I have control over the main lights in the room and I can turn on or dim a bit turn off I also have two blinds that I can control I can lower the main one stop it at the level I want also have some rope light that gives a bit of ambience lightning in the room that I can turn on or turn to a specified preset like for instance if I want to watch a movie and I can also the blind uh, close the blinds completely from here now let's go back to the home screen and change activity and let's watch some video The blinds will automatically close, the system power up. So the projector is now coming up, the set-top box is also powering up, and the system will switch the video to the correct input. Okay, so now the TV is on, we have the basic usual controls for the TV, like uh, changing channel. Uh, obviously we still have control of the sound. We can access some information on the TV, so everything you can do with the usual remote control we can do through the interface. I can also of course switch sources, so from television I will go to watch some content on the Apple TV. The system changes the UI and switches the uh, input sources so that the Apple TV will be displayed on the screen and the sound coming from the TV also. And again, just as with the Apple remote, I can navigate the interface, go to check some trailers, A bit of the trailer there. Who are we? We are no one. For years, they protected the earth from the scum of the. There you go. Let's change maybe to the media player. So again, the UI changes to reflect the controls that are appropriate for this device. The system switches to this device and I can now navigate in the media player. And see some movies. and shut down the whole system. So the system was originally controlled by an AMX touch panel.
which is linked to its AMX processor, and we now want to integrate Open Remote with it. We still want to keep the AMX touch panel usable, and we also want to take advantage of all the logic that was already done in the AMX processor. So that's why we keep in the loop. The AMX processor controls the devices like the set-top box through infrared. Other devices, like the video switch, it will control through serial port RS-232. Yet other devices, like this IP control outlet, is controlled through TCP IP. In addition, for some new devices we have added a global cache so that the open remote controller can directly talk to them using infrared. So the lights are controlled by this Lutron Graphic Eye system, which will control four different light circuits, also has some predefined scenes. We have this link through the Lutron bus to a homework system that open remote can control through IP, and the homework system also controls the blinds through their own proprietary protocol.